Okay, so I'm going to take a fresh scene in Blender and we are going to rotate the view around into a top down orthographic view. I'm going to take the standard cube, which is a two meter cube, and we're going to apply a array modifier to it. And by default, it's moved already. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to, I could cancel out that translation by just removing it from the relative offset. In fact, I'm just going to switch off the relative offset completely. Now I'm going to put in a nice number here, which is going to be 36. Uh, and now I need to create something that our cube is going to rotate around. Now I think it could be pretty much anything. Uh, but if you go to the, uh, so if I right click, sorry, it'd be shift A. Uh, and then from the menu, select an empty plane axis arrow. So it could be anything from this menu. I think you could probably also use an object, but we'll just use plane axis like this. Uh, and then if we go back to our cube and the array modifier, if we expand the object offset and switch it on and then use the dropper tool to pick our empty and I'm going to pick it from the outliner because it's a bit easier to get it than to unearth it from under the cube. Now we have a point at which our cube should hopefully uh, rotate around. So if we select our empty from the outliner and rotate it, we can see that our that our cube is now spinning around its origin. Uh, and I think what we'll do here is we will uh, add uh, a specific rotation into it in the z-axis. Now, if I select my cube and I go into edit mode and select all the verts, I should be able to just uh, if I press the G key, I can move my cube anywhere I want and I get this uh, nice rotation. And these are all instanced. So if I select just a couple of verts, I can also start to distort my cube. And of course, uh, if you have ever seen the Superflow script for 3ds Max, you'll know this is just the tip of the iceberg for this kind of uh, technique.